My name is Joanna Serenko. I'm 18 years old and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Every moment of being on The Voice has just been so incredible. Even through the stress and the waiting and all the all the other stuff has just been um, it's just been super incredible. I've met so many incredible people and I just feel so lucky to have gotten this far. So looking forward, I just think every moment being here has been a blessing. So after the blind auditions, we were paired up with our with somebody in our group, um, with somebody on our team, and we did the battles. And for the battles, I sang a Billie Eilish song called When the Party's Over with Roger Chambers. And it was a really cool experience. He killed the song, um, and he won the battle, and I was stolen by John Legend. And so I'm lucky to have gotten past that round and to be, um, to be still here today. <laughs> I've gotten to work with two coaches so far in the process. Um, I worked with Nick a little bit and John. And um, it's been so cool. I mean, I haven't gotten a ton of time to spend with them, but even, even with the short amount of time that I have gotten to spend with them, um, they've given me a lot of useful insight. And, um, and it's just been really cool. They've taught me a lot of things about how I can make my song better, how I can be a better performer. And um, I, yeah, I really enjoy the time I've spent with them. So the mega mentor was James Taylor, and I was so excited. I was so excited that it was James Taylor. Um, he's a hero to me and all the people back home, so I was just so happy. And um, he was just a super nice dude. He was so humble, and like, he's just had the, had this like mellow old man, like the best grandpa ever <laughs> kind of vibe to him, and it was just really cool. I felt so like it just didn't feel real at all. <laughs> James Taylor told me um, just to be like more communicative and like to look people in the eye and just to like emote more basically is what he said. Um, but um, he did tell me that Bonnie Raitt would be proud of me, <laughs> which was really a huge honor because I sang one of her songs for my, uh, for my knockout, so. The knockout round was the trickiest for me. It felt like that was where the most self-doubt crept in, where I was like, okay, because I was battling this amazing singer. I was battling this beautiful girl who had this amazing set of pipes. And um, it was really intimidating at first. Like I remember going through that first rehearsal and being like, oh wow, like, oh, I don't have this necessarily in the bag um, because she was just so good. But I knew I was good, but you know, I just, that's where the doubt started creeping in. And um, I took the next couple of days after that rehearsal just to kind of like meditate on it and journal about it and just kind of start to realize there's nothing that I can do to make this go one way or the other other than just doing my best at what I do and what I've been doing my whole life. So um, I kind of started to realize like I just need to nail this performance for myself and for nobody else. And, um, and I think it paid off a lot, so. So for the knockout round, uh, after after John picked Zan as the winner, I, you know, I was like, okay, well, hopefully one of these coaches will use their steal on me because Nick briefly talked about it, um, and I was kind of preparing for it, but I think my coach, and then I started walking off the stage, and I hit the ground, and I got to the ground, and I started walking. I was like, no one has hit their button yet, and I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm going home, and then at the last moment, both Blake and Nick hit their button at the same time, and I was like, God! like oh my gosh thank you god thank you so much and um and so i ran back upstage and um and then nick and blake both started talking to me about why they wanted me to be on their team why i should use their steel oh this is a huge milestone i just i i couldn't imagine making it to here i was like every time has been difficult for me because it was just like taking one step at a time and to realize that I've made it to the to the lives to the live rounds is crazy and that's really the goal that I wanted to make and to have made that goal and to get to this milestone feels like I can finally like relax a little bit and just do what I do what I have been doing my whole life and to do it like and not be fearful that I'm gonna be like competing against somebody for the just to like prove something to my coach because at this point it's proving something to America and I can't sway the opinion of every American so I think the best way to just do it is to just go up there be me and not be worried about it at all 